is mostly a 25 <laughs> This is Eric Slack, Senior Analyst with Stores Switzerland, and thanks for joining us. Today we're talking with Chris McCall, Senior Director from Fusion IO. Chris, thanks for coming by. Thanks, Eric. Hey, um, I, I think most most of our viewers uh, know who Fusion IO is. You, you guys are really a pioneer and sort of a leader in, in, in the flash space. Can you kind of uh, sort of walk us through kind of where, where you guys came from and kind of where things are with your technology today? Absolutely. So Fusion's vision from the start mm -hmm. was to implement flash directly on the memory bus to take full advantage of the performance benefits of flash, as opposed to implementing flash via traditional storage connection protocols like SAS SATA. Got it. So early days, we deployed our flash on the server side, and we've garnered some of the world's biggest websites from a social and mobile perspective, mm -hmm. but we saw benefits beyond those types of deployments. Like in server virtualization, VDI and VMware, is that right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, you translate that into just uh, standard data center implementations. Virtualization is a, is a huge use case. Mm -hmm. um, so what, what we're doing with the technology is taking it to the next level and developing software to optimize memory attached flash for different types of use cases like virtualization. Okay, and I'm assuming then that this box is is the, the hybrid storage solution um, next gen that you guys bought that now is IO control. Is that right? It, yes, exactly. So uh, you, you're you're a great straight man, Eric. Um, <laughs> virtualization requires shared storage in a lot of cases because you need that HA and you need that centralized storage. So uh, what you've seen over the past couple of years is mm -hmm. that Fusion IO has acquired IO Turbine, which is essentially caching technology that allows you to keep reads close to the server, right. that's going to give you highest performance. But you still need shared storage. And in a shared storage environment, mm -hmm. you need software that uh, captures writes in an HA fashion, mm -hmm. and it uh, has both performance and capacity. So you can deploy applications, some of which will need high performance, but some of which need high capacity. Um, and that's where IO Control comes in. It's a hybrid storage solution from that was originally called Next Gen Storage. Mm -hmm. Okay. And just recently we announced um, IO VDI, which takes um, caching to the next level with new features like write vectoring and transparent file sharings that were designed specifically for VDI environments to speed up and optimize flash attached storage for that use case as well. How does hybrid um, storage fit in a in a the data center uh, of the future in, in a world that that uh, mo a lot of people think is going to be all flash? That's a great question, Eric, um, because uh, IO control, we think of hybrid more than just disk and flash. Mm -hmm. um, it's more about combining the best of both worlds. So what I mean by that is if you look at what a hybrid storage system is, it's got high performance media mm -hmm. and high capacity media. And what we're doing is integrating these two so you have one pool of resources that can deliver on both. Okay. Today, high performance happens to be PCIe Flash. Right. That's the fastest implementation of Flash technology. From a capacity standpoint, disk is still the most cost effective. Today you're talking about, right? Today. Okay. Um, but the way we designed our technology was to integrate these two, ignoring the specific media that we're using. We're using these as a practical matter today. In the future, you could just erase these and think about hybrid as maybe new media that we don't know about yet, right? and maybe your high capacity is the cloud. What we're designing our software to do is manage two types of media in a single resource pool. That's what IO Control is about. So it, it, it's not about flash and disk, it's, it, it's about managing different types of media in a, it sounds like kind of the sort of the standard data center storage issue, right? I mean, ha haven't, in a data center, aren't, aren't you managing different kinds of storage and different kinds of applications in a, in a, in a kind of a hybrid fashion? Th that's right, and uh, the, other, the other unique approach that we've taken is, you tend to take an engineering look at this. And mm -hmm. so typically what you would do is, if I've got two tiers of data, mm -hmm. I'm gonna look at caching and tiering technologies to solve that. What we're doing is developing a quality of service engine on top of that. 
So essentially what we're doing is we're allowing the end user to tell us their business priorities and inject those business priorities into the caching and tier algorithms in the system. Now today we have that packaged up in a form factor that's digestible by mid-market customers. Mm -hmm. um, in the future, we'd like to extend that beyond just the system itself. So really the, the, the question is, and this isn't just flash and disk, this is, this is kind of a combination way to address the, the storage and business challenges these folks have. Exactly, and a great example is data centers. I mean, we tend to think in terms of point solutions like a hybrid, but um, a data center. So uh, think about um, what data center runs on one single piece of media, storage media. Every exactly. data center is a hybrid data center. That's the problem that we're trying to address. Interesting stuff, great. Well listen, great, this, this great discussion, Chris. Thanks for coming by. This is Eric Slack, Senior Analyst for Storage Switzerland. Thanks for joining us.